Yep. And look, it's, they're called pollen baskets on their legs. Yep. But if you get close enough, you can see the pollen. All right. Now, I'm putting a, an incredible amount of trust in you because, as you see, I have no... Uh, I have no, no protection. If I, if I were, if you want to sh give it to I'm me. I'm videoing. Okay. So you can, but I'm right with you. And I just, it's amazing. I'm just close. I don't know if I can be. So, uh. Oh, see, see this guy sitting on my hand? I see him. See yep. the yellow on the back legs? Yep. That's pollen. Okay. Uh, I just want people to know that I am, in fact, with Gretchen at the beehive, and I am not being stung. If, so. if I were not going in the hive, yep. I would not be geared up, because I've really got a great bunch of bees. Yep. They're, they're, um... Because, I mean, I've got... I've got an incredible, I've got, I don't know how many hundred, I've got bees all around me and they're not even landing on me. So this is a new experience for me, so. Now, see, yep. what I'm checking, see this? Yep. Um, I had put in probably about five pounds of sugar. Yep. <laughs> this these are pollen patties yep. that were probably like four inches by about six inches mm -hmm. thick. And because the, the population is just increasing so dramatically, there's not quite enough pollen, so I'm still going to feed them. Mm -hmm. But I think I need to go get some more paper. Okay. Uh, just a pay is it a newspaper you're using? Yeah, I'll go down and get some because I'm going to get another bag of sugar. Um, but Let's see it, folks. I'm trying see to get all a these guys just kind of doing these figure yeah. eight. They're all just busy doing their work. These are all new bees mm -hmm. that are doing what's called orientation flight. Yep. They come out and then they they do this kind of dance in front of the hive and yep. get set their GPS, basically. Well, see, that's the whole thing about the bee lining, um, which is what I want to start getting into and learning about, and it's uh, pretty interesting stuff. It's, these, these guys are just, I mean, I come out here, they never cease to amaze me, and it's like, how can anybody take a look at something so intricate mm -hmm. as this? and say there's no God. <laughs> I have no retort. I cannot, uh, I cannot disagree. Or want to disagree. I'm just going to open up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting because I'm covered with bees, but I am 100% relaxed and I'm not being stung. Well, and if you weren't relaxed, you'd be probably getting nailed. Do, do they sense, like, a pheromone or something that puts out a... Yep. Because I'm not... I haven't been stung once, and if I do, it's not the end of the world. But, uh... It would be... All right, I'm going to run and get some paper and another bag of sugar. Right. I'm going to back up with you and just... And if you come in here... Well, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm just going to back up a little bit. This is uh, an incredible. All right. Now, actually, I backed up maybe 10 feet, and there's not a single bee around me. They're right back there doing their thing. And I backed up because I don't really know what I'm doing, and I don't want to upset the apple cart. But I do want to, hopefully, maybe I can zoom in for you. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that. But, uh, yeah, I know. It must be Mike DeLucia. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know how well focused that is, but uh, it's covered, covered with bees. Really, really cool. Oh. Now you're putting the paper again for. I'm putting the paper here because I'm going to dump sugar on it. Okay. Have, do you ever use anise? Or is that? I've never. No. It's a lure. It's a uh, some of the, a guy that beelines. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's a sweet, sweet, sweet lure, uh -huh. and he he uses in his bee box. He to catch a bee, he uh, puts anise around the lid, and that's what gets the bee. Now I've got one right on the back of my neck. Oh no, I'm not going to panic. Nor am I going to try to get him off because he's not going to sting me if I leave him alone. Now you see these guys. So how do you do that? You got to be careful you don't crush them, right? Right. But I would typically use oh, you guys don't want to lose anything. Yeah. And this is why you have to wear your protective clothing because you right. you you have to physically move them out of the way and stuff. Um, and I I wasn't really planning on being in here for too long. Yep. Um if I were gonna be if I were gonna be out here and had more work to do uh -huh. I would use a smoker. A smoker? Um, yeah, it a campfire in a metal pan. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. And it's got bellows on it. Yeah, I've seen videos of it. I... But back to what we were talking about. So the whole point of keeping bees around is to pollinate and make sure we have plenty of uh, the bee population. Look at that. My God. Now, I'm told that when they cluster like this, it means they're getting low on food. Okay. These guys seem to have a fair amount in here. Yep. But they could also go through it really fast. That's just straight sugar, right? Yep. Which is not the best. Yep. I didn't know how fast they were going to go through that pollen. Uh-huh. And how often do you have to do that, Gretchen? Um, because of... Ah. <laughs> Don't want you really kidding. interesting because even five or six days ago, and these are scrapped yep. against being a bears. Oh, to keep the bears out. Um, ah. To help. Yep. <laughs> A lot of people do that to keep the bears out. Yeah. Um, that's what that board is for. Uh-huh. Um, small critters. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to wrap it up by saying uh,
This is just, and, uh, and you do this, I'm sorry, again, how often do you have to f check the feet? Um, right now, I'll probably check them again in, well, the first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll come out and look at and see if they're bringing pollen in. Yep. If they're bringing, if they're finding a lot of pollen, then the food is not quite so critical. Okay. But if, if there's not any pollen... Then I need to make sure I get food out here. I mean, I'll, I'll come back out here probably and check this in three or so days. Okay. Because the population is going to start to expand so much that they'll go through this food. Yep. Really quickly. Hmm. This is really good stuff. I gotta be honest, this is the first time I've ever been this close to that many bees. <laughs> so, anyway, we're gonna say goodbye for now. This has been Gretchen, the beekeeper, and it's been a very, very interesting experience.